Well, hey everybody, uh, Workflowy. Wow, uh, what a great uh, application for just jotting down things rapidly. Uh, and even if they don't come out of your brain in order, <laughs> it gives you a great opportunity to put them in order uh, in a way that is very helpful uh, moving forward. I use it for all kinds of things. Uh, obviously, I have all kinds of templates in here, uh, starting points when it comes to creative writing, meeting notes, those types of things. Uh, I use it to uh, woodshed stories. I'll go over that in just a second. Uh, in my own workflowy environment, I also use it to keep track of other things, devotions that I may write in the course of ministry, uh, work, meeting notes, those kinds of things. Uh, you'll see uh, project notes, keeping track of complicated projects. It's all helpful for that. And then I've got an archive. So when I'm done with something, I can drag it down here into this old bullet and get it out of the way so that I don't have to mess with it. Uh, I do uh, subscribe to Workflowy. It's very inexpensive, but it gives me uh, all the, the, the number of bullets that I need. Uh, and I'm glad because uh, when I get ready to start using this for career, Creative writing those can get very large a lot of items there um, but the beauty of it is I don't have to see them all at once as you know if you're a workflow a user um, the speed with which you can focus in and out of things is absolutely phenomenal the way you can simply add notes uh, to different bullets uh, is very helpful uh, to complete notes, uh, gray them out, get them out of the way. Also super helpful. Tagging things we'll go over in a second. All those things make Workflow for creative writing uh, really a fantastic tool. Uh, so if you write creatively, you know that telling a story about this and then this and then this is not always helpful. You really need a plot arc uh, and there are very defined plot arcs if you deconstruct any popular story you see them uh, so I have curated not all but some a handful of some of the more popular uh, or well used at least uh, plot arcs for instance the basic five point plot arc that deals with your exposition your rising action then your climax the falling action and the denouement okay that's fairly basic stuff there but the beauty of it is when I get ready to write a story thank you workflow all I have to do is duplicate it give the story or uh, give the line uh, the name of my story and then I'm good to go. Now I immediately uh, have a template ready to go that I can go in and fill out for my particular story. Uh, very helpful uh, and uh, it's great to work uh, very quickly on that. Again, deleting multiple items also very handy <laughs> there. The Hero's Journey, another uh, template. Uh, this one, a 12-point arc system that you see in a lot of the more heroic epics like, for instance, Lord of the Rings. If you deconstruct that, this is pretty much the plot arc to Lord of the Rings. Uh, you see the same thing, though, when it comes to character profiles. So um, we know that simply having a character uh, that is one-dimensional, uh, we may say that the, that character is flat, is just very boring and it's not very believable. To be honest, people can't really relate to a flat character because people aren't flat. Uh, they all have things that they want, motivations, and they all have things that are in their way, their conflicts. Uh, and when they overcome them, they typically are different people people when it's over. So this is the best way I know uh, to make sure that my characters are a little more well-rounded. Okay, uh, So what is their goal, their conflict, aggravating factors, obviously the crisis and the change. Uh, heroes kind of have their own arc there as you can see. Sometimes I really too just want to get to know the basics of my character as well. So uh, again not having to zoom in I can simply just expand or collapse and see different things. Now Honestly, don't go through this for every character, for every story. Uh, this is not meant to be the dive, just the diving board. Okay, it gets me started, it gets me thinking. The beautiful thing is, uh, I can take this profile uh, and I can duplicate it as needed, give it a particular name, and then uh, I'm off to the races. And then later, zoom on out, and then I can move uh, that particular character into the story uh, where they need to live. Uh, and so that is super helpful. So then I went through uh, and utilized a lot of these other two things and just kind of created my own story template. Again, I don't always go through that template, use it completely, uh, but it's just a super starting point for me. I can keep track of um, if I'm starting with a snowflake method for say, and I, uh, per se, and I want to uh, create a one sentence, one paragraph, three 
paragraph summary to get me started. Uh, I've got that in here. It reminds me to do that. It reminds me to evaluate my plot arc. It reminds me to maybe make a chronological list of things that happen in the story. They may not unfold to the reader in that order, but at least I know what happens when. Uh, and then uh, I can go in and decide how they unfold. Maybe I actually map those out here. Um, but you notice I've got tags right here. In this particular one, I've put the name Bob. So maybe scene one is all about Bob. Uh, but I could come over here uh, for my chronological listing. Uh, and let's say that I decide uh, that Bob uh, goes to lunch. Uh, and then Larry um, uh, robs uh, Bob's house. Okay. Uh, and then maybe uh, Bob... Uh, punches Larry okay so a lot of those things happen okay but let's say that I decided that Bob goes to lunch uh, is going to be uh, scene one uh, but that I want Bob to punch Larry over in scene two okay uh, that probably means that old Larry's robbing Bob as he's gone to lunch so I'm gonna hop in there and give that one scene one as well. Now the beauty of that is when I get ready to write, all I have to do is filter by scene one and then I have my chronological list as necessary. If I wanted to go ahead and filter by Bob as well, if I've added those tags, I would see them. So if you're again work, a flor, workflow user, you know how tags work, but that's just an example of how I might use them to actually plot out my fiction based on my template. Uh, I can keep track of questions. Again, here's my character uh, profiles, those types of things. I can do the same thing with tags in terms of symbolic elements too, if I want to make sure uh, that things show up throughout the story. Or for instance, I don't want some guy picking up a gun uh, that hasn't been introduced a few uh, chapters earlier, right? Kind of a no-no when it comes to writing fiction. And so this really helps me there. Uh, I even have a, a, a book review template that I'll use from time to time that kind of helps me go through and, and write a, a seasoned book report uh, on a particular work of fiction or nonfiction for that matter. Uh, but then beyond templates, uh, I actually use this to work on stories uh, at a particular time. Uh, the Weight of Love, for example, is a story that I'm working on right now. I knew uh, this would be a story about a songwriter, and so one of the elements in the story would be lyrics that he's working on. Don't judge me on any of these. It's a work in progress. Uh, but here's where I've been working on my characters, you see. So there's Tanya and there's Justin, and we see a little bit about what they want and what their conflicts are and how that fleshes out. And then as I'm writing, ideas occur to me, and so I'll just kind of jump in sometimes to scenes and start mapping things out, and it's okay. I give myself the freedom to do that because I know that I can click this and move it around wherever I want, and then there's that wonderful thing called the delete button too uh, that you can't be afraid to use, I guess, uh, in pretty much any kind of, of writing or organization for that matter. I did want to show you one other thing. So um, uh, I work uh, from time to time off of prompts. Uh, for instance, a blog called ReadSea uh, on the Medium.com platform offers five prompts every week and offers writers uh, to write a 3,000-word story based on one of those prompts as a contest. One particular week, I chose this prompt. Petals fall to the ground. Someone picks apart a flower and says they love me. They love me not. Okay, fairly cliche idea. So I immediately began to think, what are some... Um, what are some scenes, some, some settings, some situations and that wouldn't be so cliche? Uh, and so I just jotted down politician, uh, politician rather, who's facing a political crisis, enter, dead actress, enter, and just in, in two, two minutes or less, just threw down some great ideas. Then I can go back. Uh, and, and this is the less organized brainstorming part of using workflow. Okay, well, uh, what's the politician dealing with? What kind of things is he facing? Okay, uh, and who's after him? Well, it could be his constituency, it could be the public, it could be a lover, uh, it could be a peer. Uh, and so that really helped me to flesh that out. Uh, two of them that I spent the most time on, one was this one, the killer holding someone hostage, uh, using the flower to decide uh, if they were going to kill them or not. So um, fairly interesting idea. I spent a lot of time on that one. Uh, and then also on this one here, the dead actress, which inevitably is the one that I went with uh, and I wrote a story called Rose. The story, to my surprise, actually won that week. Uh, and so everything you see here, this skeleton of just jumbled up ideas that uh, I was able to drag around and make sense, uh, ended up being that uh, that story. Uh, you can read that on my blog uh, if you wanted to see what it turned out to be, uh, brandonabba.org, 
uh, is the blog there. But um, but this is where this is where that one started. And workflow, uh, workflow, excuse me, a huge uh, part of that uh, just gives my brain and my fingers the freedom to work uh, without um, having to chase down a ton of different things, lose pages. Uh, download some uh, incredibly complicated software. From here, uh, I probably will take this information over to maybe a database in Airtable, uh, or maybe just go straight into Scrivener uh, and start writing, or sometimes I just open up a text file and go to town. Um, whatever your pleasure, uh, Workflow will help you get there. I hope this helps. Uh, hit me up if you want uh, to get a hold of any of these templates. I'm happy to send you uh, the export uh, of this information uh, via Workflowy, uh, and uh, hopefully it will uh, get you down the road. So thanks.